All right, guys, so this is the, gonna be the 48 hour read. Um, it looks like I've got a lot of clean plates still, but some of those Piapinos that I showed you from yesterday are starting to get overgrown. So those might be goners, but I've got a lot of clean plates that I'm hopeful on. So I can flip this around and go through that. All right, so I've got my pink oysters at 10 of the four, black pearl kings at 10 of the four. Um, these are all looking really clean, um, no signs of contamination. So those ones I'm really hopeful for. Here is that 10 to fifth dilution um, from the Piapino, and you can see that there's some bacterial colonies that weren't there yesterday. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark the bacteria with the blue marker. Um, there's still a chance that we might get some mycelial growth in some of the cleaner regions, and then we can quickly transfer those to the isolate plates. But as I go across, um, I've got some clean chestnuts. It looks like some kind of fragment right there, and then a lot of water droplets, but nothing that I'm too concerned about with the chestnuts, which is good. Um, as I keep moving on the Piapino, we've got our streak plate that this one at least looks clean. Um, something going on there, possibly just a particle got in there, but the streak plates for the Piapino are still looking clean, and then. Um, it looks like this 1 to 10 dilution has something going on here. I think this is also a streak plate. So I did three streak plates on this, and it looks like I captured one of those bacterias that is starting to show up at 48 hours. So I'm going to go ahead and mark that. And now we're getting to some of the dirtier stuff from yesterday, and you can see that there's a quite a bit of bacteria that's coming to life and right along this edge here on the 10th of the 5th. So I'm just gonna kind of partition off this side from the bacteria. Um, there's still some clean section, sections right in here that hopefully we'll get some spores popping soon. But then I go over to the 10th of the 4 and more concentrated and these ones are possibly goners but that's why we dilute and then we also streaked out so we've got two hopeful plates still for the piapino all right so then we'll move on to the lion's mane um i did a direct streak right here and it looks like we're getting some bacteria so I'm gonna go ahead and mark those. I got my streak plate, which is starting to show some bacteria as well. So I'm just gonna go and mark this off. But I've got a clean one to 100 dilution for the lion's mane, so still staying hopeful. But that's the update at 48 hours. Looks like the bacteria is starting to show, but we've got quite a bit of clean plates.